You can download ChemDraw to your personal computer by accessing Perkin Elmer's website and identifying yourself through your BYU Idaho email address. So I'm going to go ahead and Google ChemDraw site license, and that should take me to the correct page within the Perkin Elmer website. This is the site subscription. Brigham Young University has purchased a subscription to ChemDraw for student access that we have access to at BOU Idaho. So you need to register to download the latest version of ChemDraw through the MNOVA link, link right there. If you don't have a Perkin Elmer account, which you likely don't, you'll need to set that up by giving them the required information. The most important part is that you enter your email address and that you use your BYU Idaho email address so that they can verify that you are part of the site license agreement with BYU and BYUI. After you've submitted this information and you've responded to the email to set up your password, then you can go ahead and log into the site using your BYU Idaho email account and whatever password that you've chosen. There are a variety of different products that we can download, but the one that is most useful for this particular course is just ChemDraw Professional. And we want to download the installation package. There is an installation package for your PC or your Mac, depending on which operating system you have. And I have a PC, so I'm going to go ahead and download the COS 20.0 executable file. That file is quite large and took me a while to download on a high-speed internet connection. But once you've downloaded it and identified the file in your download folder, then you need to start extracting it for installation on your computer. Early in the installation process, they're going to ask you for the activation code. I think if you go to order history, you should see a site license update link that gives you the activation code that you need to enter in order for your installation to complete. After entering the activation code, then I just kind of clicked on the default options for the next few boxes, and now I'm waiting on the full installation to occur. If everything was successful, you should be able to go to the Chem office and pull up ChemDraw. The green one is the ChemDraw 2D that we'll spend most of our time looking at. This file is pretty large and takes a minute to uh, load. I'm going to go ahead and pin that to my taskbar. And then I like to have all my tools out. There's three basic toolbars that I typically use. Um, the main toolbar, the general toolbar, and the style toolbar. And you'll see me use these various toolbars at different points in the class. Hopefully this worked for you.